I never thought this day was going to come. This month I will try to read Malasam, first pick, Gardens of the Ming. I'm so nervous guys, you cannot even imagine. I usually read girl romance during the year, I mainly do read romance in general, but I do love some fantasy, especially in during the summer where I don't have college to spoil all my brand thoughts, so they are not that tired and I just decided that being relaxed is not good and maybe a bit a bit of anxiety, a bit of having to connect dots will help making summer more fun. I don't really know why I decided that I was going to challenge myself with this. It's really funny because I cannot really see the future. So a part of me is like, you're being super excited and at the end of this video you will be like, I give up, I didn't have this book, I don't understand anything, I'm stupid, I'm dumb. Why did I think I could actually comprehend this? This. And the other part of me is like, you are making a mountain of a grind of salt. It's just a pig. A lot of people have read it and love it, right? So yeah, I don't know which one is going to be the winner. Make your bets because I swear I have no clue if it's going to be one or the other. I really, really, really hope, of course, that I do enjoy and finish this pig. But it's interesting, the thrill of not knowing what's going to happen. You are like me and you are a bit afraid of this. Come with me to this journey. Maybe at the end of it I will convince you that it's really easy and at least not as difficult as everyone says it is. Or maybe I will be just like, please, please don't hear this because it's not worth your time. You're just going to be confused. So yeah, uh, we'll say wish me luck. There is a glossary of names. Okay, and there is a map. It cannot be that difficult. It has a glossary and a map, right? I've only in page 127 and I mean it's a over 700 page book. So I was thinking about, well, should I talk about this book? Should I read a bit more? But I'm really excited and I just wanted to give you like the first impressions of the book because I feel when you start reading a book is when you have more to say about it because everything is just new so i don't want to lie the first 70 60 pages i wasn't lost i was just bored because i was very afraid because everyone is saying that there were too many characters so i was thinking that every single like a small chapter is not even chapter you keep following different characters within the same chapter so i thought you will be following a lot more characters i we actually follow. So at the beginning, you went from one to another. I'm, I'm used in fantasy books, a lot of them, you are kind of lost the first 100 pages. So I don't think it was that much more difficult than other fantasy books I've read. I think it kind of balanced out because I was very, very, very focused on the story. I was trying to remember absolutely every single detail. So I think that compensated the fact that this is supposedly a bit more difficult than other fantasy books. Once I got into, I don't know, page 80 or so, I started to really enjoy the story, really, really enjoy it. And then I think my first highlight is page 97. And then I just put somewhere around page 100. I love this. There is something I love almost as much as characters and are the dialogues. There is very, very hard to do dialogues that feel real without being boring and at the same time giving you so much about the character, so much life, so much information. I'm thinking about, for example, Scott Lynch in The Lies of Locke Lamora. I think there are really, really good dialogues. And in this case, I felt the same way. But I think this writing is actually more me because it doesn't have that many descriptions, which is another thing I was scared about. Because if you tell me that the book is complex, I'm just going to think it's going to have a lot of action, it's going to have a lot of descriptions because it's what I don't like. But no, like, yeah, it has action. You are starting with action since the beginning. But it's actually really cool because you have action since the beginning. Maybe I'm just losing all the information. I feel like, yes, it's, this is easy. And when I go to the end of the book, I will be like, what the hell I was talking about? But right now, I don't think it's such a difficult book. Somehow I read on the page 464. I'm confused about my feelings around this book. I'm enjoying it. I'm more like liking it, you know? Here is the thing. Usually I like to read when I'm feeling anxious or maybe I just want to chill 
and this book you have to be on a certain time mental state to be all able to read it because you cannot pick up this book if you're not going to be focused on this book otherwise you're going to just be lost all the time i still think it's not difficult but you have to be focused i think if you do like taking notes it's a really really good book for you but i hate taking notes which means i have to take mental notes and since it's been one month almost since i started this book i feel like it's very difficult for me sometimes to be like I remember this name where it was this name I think it's it's really easy the fact that you have a glossary with the names otherwise that would be impossible like this book without the glossary a lot a lot more difficult but as it is I think you will enjoy it more if you do take some kind of notes but as someone who's not taking notes I'm still enjoying it I do feel like I'm losing things it's kind of frustrating because you're like oh i wish i just had a small summary at the end of the chapter being like if you didn't figure it out this is because of this that will be so awesome because sometimes i just feel i just feel like i'm not very clever at that point i'm like okay i feel dumb i wish someone could explain this to me so i don't have to actually try to figure it out the answer by myself but it still is fun i just don't know if i ever be in the mood again to put so much work on trying to figure it out things because I do like when you're reading books and you're just chilling and you don't need to be that focused because it's just fun. I mean, my favorite series are Book of the Fist Stories, Stormlight Archive, The Faithful and the Falling. I don't think those are fun, funny, comedy fantasy or anything, but there are a lot easier to follow than this because they're explaining to you basically everything there but i'm going to finish it for sure because i'm enjoying it i just wish we had a bit more of slow down we are going to meet the characters and struggle with the characters but there is enough of that for me to keep reading i'm really surprised because i thought this book was going to be completely different i was expecting reading something i will read for college you know like it's very dense a lot of descriptions a lot of things you don't understand i mean yeah there are things you will not understand but it's not dense it's, there are actually a lot of dialogues a lot of action a lot of things happening so if you're afraid because of that don't be just be afraid if you don't like having to be focused while you're reading in that case maybe don't pick this up but yeah so far i'm enjoying it i'm a bit sad well not sad worried because two of my favorite characters <sighs> so many things happen guys i cannot tell you but i do have favorite characters and uh, the more i read the more favorite characters i have which is amazing i just need to care for someone in order to be able to enjoy it maybe there is a romance here which I was so happy about. I was like, mmm, nice. I like it. I finished the book. I'm still in shock. I cannot believe it's it's over. I I can not I don't have to keep reading. I've I've read it. Guys, I've read the book. Oh my god, it seems so tiny, but it's 700 pages. And god, those 700 pages, I think it never took me so long finishing. I've been writing this book for over one month. One month of this sitting on my shelves every single day and just me thinking I need to read it, I need to finish it and I, I cannot believe I've, I've done it. I mean, I know it's so, just a book but it's been like the big challenge for me for so long and just reading it, I'm like, I did that. I did that. I. That's all I'm going to say. I, I did it. If you have been thinking about reading this book, you can do it. It's... <laughs> It's a lot, <laughs> but you will feel so proud of yourself when you read it. It was a lot of work. It was worth it. I don't know if I will be continuing this series because, oh my God, it took me so long reading this book. It took me so many brain thoughts. I had to be so focused and sometimes I just want to have fun reading, but it's funny because I actually have fun doing a lot of things. Like for me, reading this book was half of the moments being like, oh, this is so interesting. I want to keep reading this forever. I don't know why I'm making such like a drama out of this. And then other parts when it's like, I've been in this page forever. I don't have a clue what the hell is happening. I'm bored. I'm tired of the book. Why I'm doing this to myself? I don't know. So yeah, a lot 
of emotions but it's done guys i'm still in shock to be honest i think i'm going to be in shock this entire year like when people will asking me about Marasan, i will like yeah people say it's really hard and they'll be like wait a moment i actually read the book i read the book oh my gosh i read this book <laughs> So yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this reading vlog. I feel it's so over the place, but I cannot believe I've read this. I'm, yeah, I hope this help make you want to read that book you're so afraid of because you can do this and you will be so proud when you actually do it. It will be worth it. I'm sure of it. So yeah, you can like and you can subscribe if you want to keep seeing videos of me struggling <laughs> and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon in another video